Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to design this knot. I'm super excited to introduce you to Saji Habib, the man who designed some of the most famous logos out there, such as National Geographic, Animal Planet, Harvard University Press, Showtime, and you probably know the bird with the colorful feathers, the NBC logo. He literally sold a logo that has a circle and a line under it, and he shows you how he did that. You're gonna learn the basic fundamentals of logo design, and he's gonna demonstrate to you what are the differences between good and bad logos. If you're that guy whose logos got rejected a thousand times, then this course is for you. Saji Habib reveals his product process on how we demonstrate to the client what is a correct direction that will help the brand. You will find out how a professional logo presentation is made and what it contains. In this course you will learn fundamentals of logo design, case studies, design strategy, how to design logos like a pro and most importantly how to create your logo presentation. If you want to learn more click the link in the description and check it out. Okay first step go to the field, click on the field, click on the none, click on the stroke, make sure that you're on black and long click on the rectangle and select the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle and they're gonna need to centralize the uh, stroke because right now it's inside so I'm gonna go to the stroke and click on align stroke to center. From here I'm gonna press ctrl C and then ctrl F. This way it's gonna place a circle on the circle or you can go to the edit and paste in front. Press and hold shift plus alt and scale the circle down somewhere around here. And I'm gonna create some lines. Actually, I'm gonna scale this even more. So go to the select both circles, go to the object, click on blend and make. And double click here on the blend tool, select specified steps, increase the number. Five is good, click OK. I'm going to select it, go to Object, Expand, click OK. And now I'm going to go to the Direct Selection tool which is located here. I'm going to select this area and click on Delete. So it's basically deleted the interior part. Now I'm going to go to the Pen tool, click on the Pen tool and click on the center point, press and hold Shift and drag all the way out here until basically you connect it with this one. With this anchor point. Okay, with the rest of the lines I'm gonna need to go out so I'm gonna press Control R, long press to the ruler here and drag it out until you can see this line and I'm gonna put it right here where they end. Now I'm gonna select the pen tool I'm just gonna... A sec. I'm just gonna click here, press and hold shift and then go to the end where they intersect go with the rest also. Okay, I'm gonna scale this down a little bit and from here I'm gonna press and hold Alt to drag it, press and hold Shift and rotate it and you need to place it somewhere around here where they intersect. Select both, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F or you can go to edit and paste in front from here press and hold shift and rotate it twice. I'm gonna select them all, right click, group, scale down, press and hold shift, rotate it. And this is how you make this twisted abstract knot in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos. Have a great day, bye bye.